This is Eric and Gord. What if we're right? Listen to the world changing. Did I just lose you? Nope. Okay. Just went real quiet there for a second. Yes, it did. I heard that too. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. Let's just go. Hi there. Happy Thursday. June 18, 2020. I'm Eric talking at you from Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, where some guys get a hole in their pocket and they just bitch and bitch and bitch about it. Other guys keep their mouth shut and use it as a way to scratch their balls. <laughs> Says a lot about you, which kind of guy you are. <laughs> kind of does, doesn't it? Hi, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling your friends. Hey, thanks for listening on Blog Talk Radio. That's very cool. Uh, we just tried to be there tonight, but it's not going to work. Uh, so we're not there. We're here. I uh, still have another episode to post because last night's episode, for some reason, came out all fucking wiggity whack. And I've mixed out the wiggity, but I'm still working on the whack. <laughs> so there will be two coming out soon. Um, and just a really quickly, before we get into all the shit, I want to say thank you to everybody for all the birthday wishes on Facebook. Very kind. Very much appreciate it. Um, I think it, it kind of like, I know a lot of my friends don't use Facebook, but for the ones that do, I like, I like expect it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that means I haven't. I was waiting to tell you to, on the show. I didn't actually. Well, post yeah, no, you said <laughs> you said you said personally, and I knew I was going to talk to you tonight. But yeah. it's always funny the random people who you like. I've got so many people from the podcast community saying happy birthday and stuff, and you know, like not my family. So that just goes to speak about how what type of people podcast people are, and <laughs> and uh, my fucking family. Um. <laughs> They still probably think your birthday's on fucking March. Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll get something from them sometime. They know I've got one this year. <laughs> uh, not, I don't care. I really don't. Uh, but it's very kind. All the, all the guys, <coughs> like, thank you to everybody who said anything. Um, before we get into Gord's little news. Hi, Gord. Hi. How you doing? I know. I already know how he's doing. I'm asking for you guys' sake. I am tired as fuck. <laughs> i'll probably end up doing a bit of a short one tonight but i had a i made a decision last night and which i often do uh where i decided to end debates i'm sick of i'm sick of a certain debate and i just put an end to it i'm gonna answer the question for you guys because i'm really tired of it um so here you go uh now we can put this one to bed we don't have to talk about it anymore is white privilege a real thing does white privilege exist in North America? Yep. 100%. <laughs> sure does. There you go. Everybody's too pussy to say it. I'm not. Yeah, it exists. Of course it does. Now shut up and move on. Because this fight over whether it ex it's doing nobody any good. We're no. not solving anything. Going back and forth on this fucking fight. You cannot deny. There is... It's... it's categorically impossible to deny that white people enjoy certain advantages because of a system a very racist system that's based on beliefs and laws and policies that go back to before slavery ended um we white being white means being an individual it it's the presumption of innocence it's the assumption of intelligence it's uh, the assumption that your swimming career is more important than being charged with rape. Uh, <laughs> as, uh, as simple as just a very um, dis a, a very disproportionate amount of policy making ability. Um, that's just fact. Is it good? Hell no. Should it be? No. Is it my fault? No. I will do what I can to change it. But the fact of the matter is we have to change the government. Um, we have to change the people running both of our countries if we want this to end. But debating over whether it's... I don't... White people... First of all, white people need to shut the fuck up. 
Two days now on the news, we've got a bunch of white people telling Jagmeet Singh he doesn't know what racism is. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you people? Oh, wow. We need to change the people in government, all of them. We need to change our system of government so that it is as inclusive as it's supposed to be and let us all get in and change the problem. In the meantime... None of us invented this thing. It is not Whitey's fault. Some of us want to work together to eliminate it. But fighting with each other isn't going to help. Now, white people. Pay attention. Two guys now. In two weeks, two black men found hung from trees in California. Both ruled suicide. (laughs) Um... Doubtful, you think? Uh, and the brother of one of the hanging victims was just shot to dead by police last night. No. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yep. Oh, no. We're at war with each other, and it is stupid. No good can come from this. Uh, Now, luckily, I'm up in nice, insulated little safety Canada. I don't see it spreading up here, but it's not far off. The tensions are running high. I'm sure Vancouver is a lot more tense than Kelowna. Kelowna doesn't have black people, but um, I bet Vancouver is fucking tense right now. I know Toronto is. This is not a road we want to go down, everybody. We Civil war is not a good thing. The U.S. falling apart, that's inevitable. We can't do anything about it. But the rational amongst us can try to work this out peacefully. Killing cops is not the answer. Killing more black people certainly isn't the answer. Um, I don't know how the, what, what the cops are going to do about this, but they really need to stop it. Um... It's just getting ridiculous. Like It's to the point now where I'm shaking. I'm literally, I'm so angry and so afraid that I'm shaking. This is the closest I've come in my lifetime to seeing America just implode. Yeah. And I don't like it. It doesn't have good uh, repercussions for us. Uh, we rely on them too much to, to move on. Uh, this Security Council thing that happened, that just goes to show... We are not, everyone else in the world has a dick and we still have a (laughs) pee-pee. Yeah, you ain't lying there. Um, We can't, we can't go on without them. Not, not without a a big uncomfortable period. So let's try to work this out. Everybody be a little more Canadian. All you people south of the 49th parallel, just try being a little more Canadian for a while. Who knows? You might even enjoy it. Just the tip. See if you like it. (laughs) Just the tip of our (laughs) pee-pee. Yeah, it really bugs me. The white privilege thing bugs me. But the debate is stupid. (laughs) <laughs> All these debates are stupid. I'd say that on this show, every fucking topic we talk about, fighting about it doesn't solve anything. Let's just fix it. Yeah. Oil, the environment, whatever. Whatever the fight is, it doesn't need to be a fight. You people are smart. Fucking get together and fix it. Um, If you need to know how, you can email me. Go ahead, Paltrow's Vagina at gmail.com. I will tell you how. Um... That's all I got for now <laughs> on that. But that's how I wanted to start my birthday rant. It's a great one to start because this is just fucking stupid. Anybody who denies it, you're a fucking moron. What else did I want to talk about? Yeah, no, you can't. Uh, no. Stop it. Stop denying it. Why? <laughs> you're not doing anybody any good by lying. To- like everybody knows. You know. Yeah. So let's just be honest. That You know my whole thing. Stop lying. We know what's up. If we have to explain to you what white privilege means, that means you know nothing about it, which means you have no opinion about it. So don't go and sit or say it doesn't exist because you don't know, understand what it fucking means. You're an idiot. And the wealth of the world in front of your fucking fingertips. Fucking use it. 
does it mean that black people can't enjoy the same advantages? No, it does not. Of course they can. Does it mean all white people get to do whatever they want all the time and their lives are way, way better? No, absolutely not. My life's a piece of shit. Um, but have I been, you know, I, the point really hit hard last night when we were talking about that guy who made this stink about the cop stopping him. And then we both said, yeah, this cop stopped me twice. Twice. Yeah. I, I say that. Yes. The cop stopped me twice. And then I, that it was just burrowing into my brain all night. Some of these guys, black guys get stopped every fucking day. Every time, they every step time, out of the they, house. every time they pass a cop, like I say, Oh yeah, I totally get it. Cause I've been stopped twice ever in my life. Um, no, I don't get it. Um, I do. I understand it, but I don't know what it's like. I got harassed by a cop once 25 fucking years ago. Yeah. (laughs) Almost actually 30 years ago. The fuck am I getting? Some of these guys always, it's just, just because they are who they are. Mm -hmm. And that's just, and that's fact that we all do it. Guess what? You go, oh, profiling's bad. No, we all profile. That's what we do. It's a primal thing. We profile people to get a sense of whether we're in danger or not. That's that hasn't been bred out of us. Um, so we do it. It's it's we can't not do it. It's an innate. It's it's just ingrained in us to do that. Um, now you don't need to use the information for any purposes, but we just do it. So stop lying to yourself. Get over it. Move on. Solve the problem. Could not agree anymore. And stop referring to people as sheep when they agree with shit. Fuck yourselves. (laughs) Gorillas are a pack animal. We travel in packs just like sheep. That's what we do. That's how we got to dominate the fucking planet. You want to be a loner? See how long you last on your own. Yes, we we work it better in groups. That's how humans work. Most animals work. So shut up with your stupid sheep shit. That was another rant. (laughs) Not attached to the first rant. Well, you know what, though? It kind of does hook into the other one because, you know, for some reason, people think that if they agree that white privilege exists, that they're just being a sheep and following. Sure. You know, they just they just don't they don't don't get it. They're not smart people. Yep. You're a sheep and you're following. Good. Whatever. Of course we are. That's what we do. That's how we win. Yeah. Go be a loner by yourself. Go be then. What's the opposite of a sheep? What are you, a fucking wolf? I a guess. wolf. No, wolves are in packs. Uh, yeah, well, wolf's a pack animal, too. What's the opposite of a sheep? What's your solution? I don't know what the people oh, who what? use that phrase, what are they? A blue whale? A sheep. You're a blue whale? Good. Be a blue whale. <laughs> be in my I... fucking can of tuna. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're kind of alone, aren't they? I don't know. You could be in my can of tuna, then whale. <laughs> Whatever you want to be. Whatever loner animal you're going to be, you're not going to fucking last. Yeah. That's All just right. what I would like to know. What 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 animal are you, are you as a leader? What's lone? I don't know. Bears? Polar bears? Maybe you're a polar bear. Yeah. Have you seen polar bears lately? They're not looking good. No. Which is why they need to be in packs if they survive better. <laughs> they are emaciated. They're skinny as fuck. <laughs> They're not looking good, and they're not sleeping through the winter. That's the problem. Yeah, not getting the, not getting the sleep they so desperately need. Um, so I didn't look at any news today. I only had all day, um, and all day is not as long as I thought it would be. I did spend some time going over media bias and some of the, you know, like which way the BBC leans and stuff like that this is kind of interesting. I'm not going to bore you guys with it, but I am going to look up the Zimbabwe situation. <laughs> I already have it open. <laughs> that is my new favorite thing. Uh, we're just going to talk Zimbabwe because Canada's boring. <laughs> yeah. I, 
I, I actually wanted to bring this up just to 